Good morning, National Dayers. It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Thursday, May 23rd. It is the 143rd day of the year. There are 222 days left. Happy National Taffy Day. May 23rd celebrates a mouth-watering confection on National Taffy Day. Taffy candy has been made and sold for many years and has become a favorite souvenir of many vacationers. Confectioners make this sweet treat using boiled sugar and butter. They stretch and pull the concoction until it is a chewy consistency that can be rolled and cut. The flavors range from buttery to tart to sweet. There's a flavor for everyone and it seems like they introduce a new one each year. Taffy's colorful displays entice children and adults alike, and they have been doing so for generations. At one time, candy shops and pharmacies sold penny candy, and Taffy was one of the many tempting options we would choose from. However, those days are now long gone. With summer just around the corner, seasonal candy shops are stocking up their latest selections. With so many flavors to choose from, it's often hard to decide which ones to pick. That's why they often offer flavors swirled together to help us narrow it down. But we're still enticed by the variety and the colors. National Taffy Day offers the perfect excuse to indulge in sweet or tangy taffy. What's your favorite flavor of taffy? Today is also Lucky Penny Day, Medical Coder Day, and World Turtle Day. All right, National Dayers, we're going to make some easy taffy. And trust me, you're going to want to make it the way I tell you and not the way I did it myself. You'll see why. You're going to want a 16 to 20 ounce container of non-dairy creamer. And then you're going to want 8 to 10 single serve packs of Kool-Aid. Make sure you pick the sugar-free ones. You'll learn why. Just trust me. Four ounces of water and a bowl. And some gloves if you want. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take that container of creamer and you're going to dump it into the bowl, the whole entire thing, and then make a little well in the middle, and then open up those Kool-Aid packets and put those in the middle as well. It's a lot of Kool-Aid packets, isn't it? Okay, then you're going to add in the four ounces of water. And as much as you want to, don't add more than four ounces of water. I promise, it seems like it's not enough, but it's magic. Put those gloves on and mix. And when I say mix, I mean mix. You're going to need to crush it and squish it and stir it and spin it and scrape the sticky stuff on the dry stuff and then mix it some more. Did I mention you might need to mix it? You're picking up now. This one takes a while, but if you persevere, it is so worth it. Once you have everything combined in the bowl, you're gonna take it out of the bowl and then work it on the counter. And what you're doing is you're kind of smashing it into itself, folding it over, smashing it into itself over and over and over again. You wanna make sure everything is combined. It's not grainy, you can't tell that there's creamer in there, you can't tell that there's Kool-Aid in there, it's all mixed together and it looks like taffy. This takes a while. Push and stretch it and pull it and mush it back together and then do it again over and over and over again. But when you're done, you're gonna have this nice big blob of taffy. Let's see how it tastes. Let's watch the closing. All right, National Dares, here it is. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little nervous about this one because the recipe called for Kool-Aid powder, which is not sweetened, and then coffee creamer is not sweet, that's just dried milk. So I'm not sure how this one's gonna taste, but hey, it's nothing if not an experiment that we can always change and make better. So I'm gonna take a tiny little piece of taffy and we'll see. Keep smiling, National Dares. Have a thoughtful Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So sour. All right, we're going to have to add some sugar to this bad boy. I got to go. 
See you tomorrow. Bye. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Our shout outs today start us off with Ms. Harrington, Mrs. Stern, and Ms. Vlack, and everyone in the Connections Levels 3 and 4 program at Edward Harris Jr. Middle School in Elk Grove, California. Next up is Mrs. Pierce and everyone in the Adult Transition Program at Lee V. Pollard High School in Corona, California. Third up today, Mrs. Lindsay, Mrs. T, Mr. Parker, Mrs. Christie, and everyone in the Access Program ages 18 and up at Weatherford 9th Grade Center in Weatherford, Texas. Fourth up today is Mrs. Fowler and everyone in the BOCES 2 Program at Brockport High School in Brockport, New York. Our fifth shout out today goes out to Ms. Christine and everyone in the second and third grade ABL program at Donahue School in Holyoke, Massachusetts. Our sixth shout out today goes out to Ms. Steinert and everyone in the VIP1 Life Skills program at Herrick's High School in New Hyde Park, New York. And our seventh shout out today goes out to Mrs. Kameg and everyone in the fourth grade class at West Mifflin Middle School in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Teachers, our shout out form is currently closed due to popularity, which is amazing. Thank you for watching and I will keep you posted when we're taking more shout out requests. And here it is, your updated super spectacular shout out map.